So Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Povetkin was officially announced yesterday. There will be a press conference today and further press conferences over the next week or so in different parts of the world to promote the fight. It will take place at Wembley Stadium on September 22nd, live on Sky Sports box office. And the rumor is, I don't know if this is true, it's just a rumor at the moment, but the rumor is that it will also be on the zone in the United States. So, yeah, there were some people casting aspersions about whether this fight would actually happen, whether it was really signed. Of course it was signed. <laughs> it, was a, it wasn't announced straight away, but it was signed. They just wanted to cross the T's and dot the I's and all that kind of business. And, you know, there you go. It's a mandatory at the end of the day. They had to fight Povetkin sooner or later. So it's going to be sooner. Let me know what you feel about this fight in the comments section below. How many people, this is what I'm really interested in. How many people are actually picking Povetkin to win this one? That's what I'm interested in because Povetkin is a dangerous fighter. He can punch. He's got a very good left hook. He's a good body puncher. And this will definitely represent one of the most dangerous opponents Joshua's been in with. And by far and away, the best pressure fighter that Joshua's been in with. Remember, Alexander Povetkin is also an Olympic gold medalist. So you've got two Olympic gold medalists here. The crucial thing, though, is that Povetkin is, what, 10 years older than Joshua? He's been around a lot longer. He's taken more damage not just in fights, but also in training. So, uh, I think he'll be dangerous, very dangerous in this fight. And an upset would not shock me, but I do expect Anthony Joshua to win. I do expect him to pull through. I think that he'll get to Povetkin in the fight with shots. Uh, he might even cut him or something like that, potentially stop the fight that way. He's going to have to be careful. And that's going to be interesting to see how careful he's going to be because against Joseph Parker, he was very careful to the point that he was boring. And a lot of the fans didn't like it. A lot of the British fans were not impressed by his performance against Joseph Parker at all. Will he put in another boring performance, a safety first performance against Alexander Povetkin? Because that's not going to help build the Deontay Wilder fight. The British fans will not like it. I'm telling you, as I said in a recent video, most boxing fans, particularly Anthony Joshua fans, are casual fans. And I'm not, I don't mean that in an insulting sense. I don't mean that as a pejorative term. I'm just being descriptive. Most boxing fans, particularly of the major fighters like Joshua, they're casual fans. They don't want to see no technical boxing display. They want to see, you know... <laughs> Blood and guts, lightning and thunder. That's what they want to see. So they're not going to be impressed if he plays it safety first against Povetkin. They want to see something spectacular. So there's a lot of pressure on Anthony Joshua here. Pressure to deliver the goods and take care of Povetkin and win the fight. And also pressure to impress the fans and promote the fight against Deontay Wilder. You know, a lot of pressure on this man's shoulders. We'll see if he can handle it. He's handled it so far in his career uh, incredibly well. But this is a new test again in a very, very dangerous fight. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, people. You know, some stats here. Yeah, 10 years between them. Povetkin's had 35 fights. 24 knockouts, only lost the one to Klitschko, 6-2 to Joshua, 6-6. Six, six. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do another video on the stats. Yeah, let me know how you feel, people. It's happening, I'm out.